starts off easy and gets progressively more and more difficult. There are 20 of them. Opening lines, that is, from great horror novels and short stories. I'll read each one and wait a few seconds to let you guess before revealing where they're from. Hit the like button before you begin, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe. And above all else, guess correctly. It's the only way to keep them from coming for me. Please, help me. The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. <laughs> The Call of Cthulhu, H.P. Lovecraft. So intent was Frank upon solving the puzzle of the Marchand's box that he didn't hear the great bell begin to ring. The Hellbound Heart, Clive Barker. By the time he graduated from college, John Smith had forgotten all about the bad fall he took on the ice that January day in 1953. The Dead Zone, Stephen King. True, nervous, very, very dreadfully nervous I had been and am. But why will you say that I am mad? The Telltale Heart. Edgar Allan Poe. The welcome wagon lady, 60 if she was a day, but working at youth and vivacity. Ginger hair, red lips, sunshine yellow dress. Twinkled her eyes and teeth at Joanna and said, You're really going to like it here. It's a nice town with nice people. You couldn't have made a better choice. The Stepford Wives, Ira Levin. The seller of lightning rods arrived just ahead of the storm. Something wicked this way comes, Ray Bradbury. On those cloudy days, Robert Neville was never sure when sunset came, and sometimes they were in the streets before he could get back. I am legend, Richard Matheson. No live organism can continue for long to exist under conditions of absolute reality. The haunting of Hill House, Shirley Jackson. What's the worst thing you've ever done? Ghost Story, Peter Straw. Nurse Thornton dropped into the long-term care ward a little before eight with a hot bag of blood for Charlie Max. Nose for R2, Joe Hill. West of Arkham, the hills rise wild and there are valleys with deep woods that no ax has ever cut. The Color Out of Space, H.P. Lovecraft. The Exorcist is dead. My Best Friend's Exorcism, Grady Hendrix. I am writing this under an appreciable mental strain, since by tonight I shall be no more. Dagon, H.P. Lovecraft. I was sick, sick unto death with that long agony, and when they at length unbound me and I was permitted to sit, I felt that my senses were leaving me.
The Pit and the Pendulum, Edgar Allan Poe. When a day that you happen to know is Wednesday starts off by sounding like Sunday, there is something seriously wrong somewhere. The Day of the Triffids, John Wyndham. Once upon a time, we had a love affair with fire, the President of the United States thought as the match that he'd just struck to light his pipe flared beneath his fingers. Swan Song, Robert R. McCammon. It happened in a millisecond. A movement in the galaxies that should have taken eons occurred in the blinking of an eye. The Omen, David Seltzer. The blaze of the sun wrung pops of sweat from the old man's brow, yet he cupped his hands around the glass of hot sweet tea as if to warm. The Exorcist, William Peter Blatty. It makes you think of coconut frosted cookies, maybe drugs, a respectable life. Let the right one in, John Ivy Linkist. And on the second day, things did not get better. The Ritual, Adam Neville. My hands have a mind of their own. I touched a demon on the cheek from the collection of novellas Delirium's Muse, Michael Wurtenberg. I'm living in a small studio apartment in Paris with thin walls and thin ceiling. <laughs> I was spending so much time and so much energy fantasizing about killing my neighbors. I decided I should try to make a career out of it. <laughs> so that's when I wrote my first manuscript. It was called Edifice Complex. And this is a guy who developed an erotic, obsessive relationship with the building he lives in. <laughs> no, 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 it's, not, it's, it's a serious work of literature. And together they kill all the neighbors. Now, I am still waiting for the publisher to put that out. I know I'm as shocked as you are. But it doesn't stop me from writing. I keep writing, I keep doing. <laughs> 